Hello, my name is Lindsay, and today we are going to talk about more Campus 4 news because Vianji did live stream for over 10 hours yesterday, but I'm pretty sure about 10 hours of it was just building on Campus 4. So we do have some new leaks to share with you today. We're also going to talk about the fact that there's tons of badges added into the game. I guess, yes, they are added into the game, they're just not implemented yet to where you can obtain them but they are technically in the game i guess and today i am wearing a different face because i am loving the valkyrie faces i don't know there's something about these faces that i find so cute so i decided i'm going to wear one for a while because they are adorable also a lot of people have been asking me where i've been filming at so i've been filming in the teacher's lounge because i feel like the teacher's lounge has a very pretty background here and i have been getting a lot of requests to share my lookbook so here is my lookbook here is everything i am using to make my outfit that i am wearing today so let's go ahead and talk about the campus for news leaks information first so the first thing i'm going to share with you is a clip where vianchi says campus four is going to be huge at first i thought it was going to be small but it seems like i was wrong it's not smaller it's it's huge actually um if you saw our plan god there's a lot to do there's this whole building right here oh my god so for those of you who are worried about lag i'm going to quickly explain how they are going to try and reduce lag the best i can so basically when you are playing in campus 4 nothing will be loaded unless you're close to it so if you're far from something so for example if you're far from the dorms the dorms won't be loaded, but if you're near the front office, then the front office will be loaded. I know there's a name for this, but I don't know what the name is, but that is how they are going to reduce lag. Things will only be loaded that you are near. So that way the whole server won't be loaded for you at once and that will reduce lag. I hope that explanation made sense. I'm really bad at explaining things like this because I'm not a developer, but that is how I understood it and I hope I explained it in a good understandable way. Okay, so Vianji did give us a little tour on things he worked on off stream, so let's go ahead and look at that as well. So the first thing you might notice is the fact that they added sounds. So now they have the nature sounds in the build, which I'm so glad for because I really love Royal High's nature sounds. Yeah, so I put in some sounds. Look, I put in, I put in some beautiful flowers. So I've been working on filling up the quad. The flowers are really pretty. They do change up the look of the scenery. I don't know if you guys have seen my past videos where you can see this area without the flowers, but the flowers have really changed the look. And the bus sound is in now. I also changed the material of the bus so that it's not like blinding. So Vianchi did just say he changed up the material of the bus, but to me it does look slightly different. It looks like a different bus with the material changed. Maybe it's the lighting. I don't know. There's just something about the bus that looks extremely different, but I really like it. It seems more vibrant. Ignore this. I'm just using this golf cart to get around. This is a free model. <laughs> So you're going to see something that's very exciting. You can see the store that Night Barbie built on her live stream. On the live stream, the store seems so big, but in this build, it seems so small. It's the student store, and that just made me so excited to see it. Campus 4 is like nothing. Yeah, like things is things are moving really fast. The developers have stated several times that development for Campus 4 is moving fast, but I love to hear it, so I wanted to share this little clip with you as well because i know you guys love to hear that too and then on stream vianchi worked on exterior so we did not get to see anything new that will be inside the school because he was only working on the exteriors and finishing that which is super important because you don't want to be in a half-built building that has no walls that's not fun or pretty so he worked on the bell tower and you can see he is also working on building the walls and the roof around the head mistress's office 
Now, while watching the stream, the headmistress office had a lot of awkward walls to work around, so it looked very difficult, but I feel like Rianji is doing a very good job. He was very talented at building exteriors. While I was watching him build, I kept thinking to myself, I could never do this. I'm not patient or talented enough. So I cannot wait to play Campus 4, play all the fun mini games the developers made, as well as play in all the beautiful builds the developers have made. Now let's go ahead and talk about the badges because I have seen a lot of people talk about the badges, wondering how you will obtain the badges. So let's go ahead and look at the badges and then talk about how I think these badges will be obtainable. I do think my theory is going to be disappointing though because... There's only one thing that makes sense to me on how you will get these specific badges. So right here are all of the brand new badges that have been added to Royal High. They're just not obtainable yet, but if they're on this page, that means they are in Royal High. You just can't get them yet. And you can see there are a lot. We are still going. There's so many badges. I have not counted them yet. So now I'm going to have to go back and count them, but don't worry, I will do that off screen. There's so many. So if I counted correctly and I did not miscount, that means there are 34 badges. That is a lot. Now, I do think the majority of the badges are probably most likely for the toys because we do know Royal High already confirmed this. Toys will give you in-game items, and we have seen toys in the past give you badges. Some examples are the Valkyrie doll, the Drama Queen toy, Tommy Bob's toy, which I'm pretty sure gives you a ring, and then the Enchantress, I believe, gives you the mood-changing necklace, if I'm remembering correctly. So, unfortunately, I do think the majority of those question mark badges are toy badges but it is possible that some of those badges could be for campus 4 because they're in the development of campus 3 for campus 3 the development for campus 3 they would slowly implement the campus 3 badges into the game because it was easier to implement them early than go back and do them later so while the majority of the badges are most likely toys in my opinion i do think some of those badges could be for campus 4 as well obviously if i knew the exact amount of toys that were going to be released least then I would know for sure how many of the badges were for the toys but since I don't have that information I'm going to say the majority are for the toys and some of them are for campus 4 and because we have been told this multiple times by the developers the development for campus 4 is going by fast so I assume they'd want to get the Campus 4 badges in game. So that is all the news and information I have for you today. I hope this was helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'd greatly appreciate it if you could like, subscribe, and turn on that bell notification so you never miss when I post. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!